الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله صلى الله تعالى عليك وسلم in the background you see who is this Neil Armstrong Neil Armstrong who was he an astronaut where did he land he landed on the moon first man on the moon yeah he landed on the moon now when you study Quran people used to believe that it's not possible to explore the world and go beyond the boundaries of the earth or the heavens you know it was not possible people used to think that but there is one verse of Quran which actually mentions that yes it is possible and it is none other than the ayat of Surah Rahman Ya Ma'ashtar al-Jinni wal-Ins In istata'atum an tanfudu min aqtari s-samawati wal-ardi fanfudu la tanfuduna illa bi sultan fa bi ayya alai rabbiku ma tukadziman O group of jinn and humans if it is possible for you, if you feel that's possible, I'm, I'm putting in my own words. It's not exact translation from the Kanzul Iman, but you can refer to that. If you think that you can cross the boundaries of the heavens and the earth, go. Go. Go beyond the earth. Go beyond the boundaries of the earth and the heavens. Latan Fuzuna illa bi Sultan. You can, you, wherever you want to go, you go. But you cannot escape the kingdom of Allah. Subhanallah. Wherever you go, the ruler is Allah. The Lord is Allah. The creator is Allah. No matter you land on the moon, okay, still the kingdom is of Allah. So this actually gives us the interpretation that Quran was predicting <laughs> that one day man will escape the boundaries of the earth and go beyond uh, somewhere else. In the, into the space, right? But Allah is reminding us, if you are on this land, on the earth, Allah is the creator, Allah is the Lord, Allah is the king. If you go to the moon, Allah is the king. If you go to the mass, Allah is the king. So the kingdom you cannot escape. So it is always Allahu Akbar. See, all of you, Allah. Allahu Akbar. Whenever we go, wherever you go, we should remember Allah. Now, this astronaut, this astronaut, remember, where did con this, this concept of going out into the space originate from? This takes us to the incident of Mayraj. Subhanallah. 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 Come here. Mashallah. You, we all know, just in, uh, last month, Islamic month, Rajab, Rajab al Murajab, we celebrated the uh, Shab e Miraj, which was the night of ascension, the night of Isra, the night of Miraj, where Rasulullah was taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to all through the uh, heavens and beyond Sidratul Muntaha into the space of La Makkah and as close as possible to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't know how close it was, but Quran says, When we see all these things, that should remind us the concept of Miraj. That this thought, this concept was provided to the humans by this journey of Miraj. The journey of Miraj. So if at all human beings are able to explore the boundaries of the heavens and the earth and go to some other planets huzur sallallahu alaihi wasallam has already escaped beyond imagination beyond imagination today we are thinking today we are saying that in 1965 man landed on moon and very recently the man uh, landed on mars or unmanned unmanned uh, satellites they landed on man still man is exploring the idea of going to the mass or uh, having uh, 
some colonies on the moon for holidaying and people are trying to prepare themselves for become the astronauts and being in the weightless situation in the gravity uh, gra gravity less situation that gra gravity is 9.8 meters per second square that is the acceleration due to gravity you all know because of you learning physics in your schools so you know that what is gravity that is a force which pulls everything into it we just saw inside that auditorium which they were telling us that the gravitational force forces everything into it and that is why we are standing on this earth that mass into ex um, uh, weight 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 is mass into acceleration whatever it is 9.8 meters per second square so for going beyond the boundaries of the earth the astronauts have to have a special preparation they have this suit which they have to carry they have to wear when you when we when when they go to the, uh, the moon or some other planet they have to have special food they have to have special uh, arrangements for uh, uh, some other necessities of life you know that uh, and they have to recycle it's amazing and astonishing also that when they urinate the same urine is recycled and they drink it again because there could not be a water supply continuous water supply uh, when they are uh, traveling the space that is uh, something we, we just can't think of but this is all human things you know uh, what we are doing but when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam beyond the boundaries of the earth what preparation was, was made we have learned from the ulama ikram that jibril alaihi salam came and then jibril alaihi salam did the shak al sadr the 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 Splitting chest the was chest. chest was split wow. and the heart was taken out and it was washed with babi zamzam and then filled with hik with hikmat and nur all this was preparation for the space journey wow. of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so if someone goes to the moon he has to prepare for going to the moon wow. but if someone goes to the lamaka wow. allah has prepared his habib for the visit of lamaka subhanallah to bolo so all these thoughts must cross our mind i asked this uh, this boy what did you learn inside he told me that we we are made of of stars we are made up of, because that's must have struck his mind while listening out of everything else he just picked up that one sentence that we are created of stars then i had to explain to him that see you learned and you picked it up remember that only thing but you are true you are right that we are made up of stars but how stars the same commentator he told us that stars are made up of dust that space dust what is dust that is clay what is clay we are prepared of clay we are made of clay so man is made of clay and what is the proof for that when you go to the laboratories to have your blood test done your blood test done when you see the report of the blood test what did it contain you saw how the elements were formed how the atoms were formed iron magnesium calcium sodium all these things all you see the blood report you will see find all these things inside wow. your blood report so it proves that we are made of of clay these are all the constituents of the clay which we find on this earth and we are made of of clay that is the islamic uh, view point and alhamdulillah which is established by science wow. we don't need to establish it because we believe it in any way because it is the command of allah and his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but the more the science explores everything the more our faith becomes stronger because it is scientifically proved that whatever islamic teachings are giving to given to us by allah and his rasul are the fact of the world alhamdulillah so this now what does quran has to say what does quran says say about man landing landing on moon is it mentioned in quran it reminds me of one verse of quran wal qamar idha tasaq subhanallah la tarkabun tabaqan an tabaq fama lahum la yu'minu subhanallah wal qamar qamar means moon allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says qamar chand ki qasam jab wo pura ho by moon when it is complete on the 14th of night of every lunar month right wal qamar idha tasaq chand ki qasam jab pura ho when the moon is full moon full moon la tarkabun tabaqan an tabaq indeed they will go step by step subhanallah wo manzil ba manzil chadenge manzil ba quran is predicting that man will go beyond the boundaries step by step tabaqan an tabaq manzil ba manzil they will go up fama lahum la yu'minun 
एंड देन कुरान से वेन यू गो दे तुमको क्या हो गया कि ईमान ले वाई डोंट यू बिकम द बिलीवर देन नाउ दैट वी हैव सीन द साइंस ऑफ अल्लाह ऑन मून वी जस्ट सॉ पीस ऑफ स्टोन ब्रॉड फ्रॉम द मून वी आर सीइंग द साइंस ऑफ अल्लाह ऑन मून वाई डोंट वी बिलीव इन अल्लाह देन दिस ऑल गिव्स अस द इंप्रेशन दैट द मोर द साइंस इज एक्सप्लोर द मोर स्ट्रॉगर वी विल बी इन आवर फेथ बट वेन वी गो टू स्कूल we should also learn quran and all these quranic verses so that we can we get connected to quran and allah and his beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sidra se bhi aage kaun gaya jibril ami se poocho mera raj ka dula kaun bana jibril ami se poocho mera raj ka dula kaun bana jibril ami se poocho जिबरील से रब ने फरमाया जन्नत की सवारी ले कर जा महबूब से जा कर कह देना अब आके करे वो सैर दरा फिर कैसे उन्हें फिर कैसे उन्हें बेदार किया जिबरील से पूछो सिद्धरा से भी आगे कौन गया जिबरील अमी से पूछो मेरा ज कदूला कौन बना जिबरील पहुँचे आखिर उस मंजिल पर जलते हैं जहाँ जिबरील के पर जिबरील रुके सरकार बढ़े पहुँचे हैं अरश आजम पर मेहमान खुदा मेहमान खुदा फिर कौन बना जिबरील अमी से पूछो सिद्धरा से भी आगे कौन गया जिबरील अमी से पूछो मेरा ज कदूला कौन बना जिबरील अमी से पूछो वन मोर मेरकल Miraj is not a single miracle. Subhanallah. It contains more miracles Subhanallah. inside miracles. Subhanallah. Beshak. Subhanallah. Now, the splitting of the chest, which took place, which paved way for people, for the doctors, for the scientists to think that this could be possible to split the chest, take the heart out, repair it, and put it again. Subhanallah. Inside. Subhanallah. So the first open heart surgery was performed. on rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam without any anesthesia without any ventilator without any antibiotics without any stitches without any team of doctors without the icu just the jibril amin so till the day of judgment as many patients as possible would be operated upon it will all be the sadaqa of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and whenever they get shifa it will be because be because of the shifa given through rasulullah sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam shafi wa nafi ho tum kafi wa fi ho tum dard ko kar do daba to pe karo do now to travel into the space you need a means or something which travels faster and escapes beyond all the gravitational all the spatial forces to encounter counter those forces common ordinary vehicles cannot do that job so it has to be something special like a space craft like a rocket what did rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam travel on it was burak wallah now incidentally burak is a word derived from burq and burq means electricity wallah burq means electricity what is the velocity of light what is the velocity of light tell me yes What is the velocity of light? Is three lakh kilometers per second? Three hundred thousand kilometers per second. Per second. 
as much as I remember. I'll go back to my physics book and uh, verify it, inshallah. Or you can find out what is the velocity of light on your internet, on uh, Google search. So, what is the velocity of light? Burak traveled faster than electricity. Now, today, the space aircraft, they are traveling faster. But they cannot travel faster than the Burak. They cannot travel faster than the Burak. So, Rasulullah, who is advanced? This space aircraft? Oh, the one on which Rasulullah traveled upon. Burak was the most advanced form of space aircraft which was provided. Not even Burak. For first stage, it was Burak. From Masjid Haram to Masjid Aqsa. From then, it was something different. From Sidratul Muntaha, it was something different. As per the needs of the situation. You know, when the rocket flies... 300,000 is correct, sir. Yeah. 299,792, 458. <laughs> To be exact. Tell me, tell, tell them, tell them the exact value. 299,792, 458 kilometers per second. Per second. Yes, that is the velocity of light. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing velocity of light. So, on what principle rocket flies? Do you know that? Do you know any laws of motions? Laws of motions. Do you know the scientist Newton? Have you heard of him? Do you know the laws of motions given by Newton? Don't? The third law of motion is very famous. Action and reaction are the same but in the opposite direction. Action and reaction are the same but in the opposite direction. That is the third law of motion given by Newton. That is why when you bang a ball harder on the ground, it bounces back with the same force. When a bowler, bowling a bouncer in cricket, when he wants the ball to rise up to the chest of the batsman, he bangs it to the ground. And the more he applies the force, the more the ball gets the lift, the bounce. The third law of motion. Now, Islamically, Al Birru Layabla, Wad Dambu Layunsa, Wad Dayandu Layamud, Eamal Mashita, Kama Tadinu Tudan. What goes comes return. What goes in comes back. What you do will come back to you. What you do will come back to you. Actions and reactions are the same, but in the opposite direction. Now what happens exactly when the rocket is launched, you see there is some fire there. There is some fire there inside, at the bottom of the rocket. When it is lit, immense amount of energy is released. The energy goes in the downward direction and the rocket flies in the upward direction. It is the third law of motion. Action and reaction is the same but in the opposite direction. That is energy has to be there which releases in the downward direction and it gets the lift. Now the rocket is fitted with certain stages. Engines is having, taking it up to certain stages. One, the, the lower, the bottom portion will take up to a certain height and while it gets detached from that rocket, it ignites the other part of the engine and then it takes it further and then in turn it ignites the other part again and it takes it further and it takes beyond the gravitational force and establishes the satellite in the geostationary orbit. There are orbits around which the satellites revolve. So now, one thing we learn from here, Islamically, is if you want to go up, if you want to go beyond imagination, there should be fire inside you. That fire of doing something. That fire of performing, that fire of action. Inaction is not going to take you anywhere. If the fire is fire of Ishke Rasul is there, that is the mirage of your belief. So the rockets cannot fly without fire and a believer cannot fly without the fire of Ishke Rasul So there is, there is a lot of things which can be discussed about this, but we have to go elsewhere as well. So I conclude this topic on this. Inshallah, we'll go further. I don't know.